Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from my first wig. I will have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. They're having a huge sale right now, so don't forget to check down below for more information. I received a 20 inch kinky straight lace front wig with Swiss lace. The lace has three combs and an adjustable strap as well as an additional elastic band. The hairline is pre-plucked and the knots are deep bleached. Although the hairline is plucked for us, I do want to pluck more hairs from it so that it can look a little bit more natural. To do that, I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. Okay, so now that I'm satisfied with the hairline, it's time to tint the lace. I do have two colors of lace tints that I use for my lace frontal wigs. One is the color of my foundation and I use that around the hairline because that's going to be the part that has to be a perfect match for my complexion. And the one that I use for the scalp is of course a few shades lighter and I use that in the inner portion of the lace front. I'm going to do two layers of each and blow dry the lace tint in between each layer. Okay, so this is how the kinky straight texture looks straight out of the package. It's a very natural looking hair texture. It definitely looks like a blowout. But I do want the hair to lay down a little bit more flat and I want it to look like a silk press. So I'll be using my flat iron and a pressing comb for that step. To do that, I'll be grabbing small sections of hair, grabbing the Bio Silks Silk Infusion Hair Serum, applying that to each section as well as Marcel's Curl Wax and I will be grabbing my flat iron and pressing comb and straightening this hair. Okay, so now it's time to install the wig. The first thing that I'm going to do is prepare my forehead by using 70% alcohol and cleaning off my skin. Then I'll be grabbing scalp protector from Walker Tape and applying that to my scalp. So grabbing the wig, I'm going to place it on my forehead and just make sure that it's in the proper placement. I'm going to make sure that all of the combs are lined up to where they need to be lined up and that the air tabs are where they need to be as well. I can see that the hairline is more square. I have a closer hairline to my eyebrow, so that lets me know that I have to have baby hairs with this hairstyle. Grabbing a pair of scissors, I did cut two slices in the extra lace, which created three sections. 
Pinning back the left and right section, I'm going to focus on the middle section first. Grabbing Got To Be Ultra Glute Gel in the black tube, I'll be applying a thin layer to my hairline in the center and then blow drying. Then grabbing the extra lace, placing it over that tacky gel and then using the back end of a rat tail comb to make sure that it is secured into that tacky gel. I'm gonna follow those steps for the left and right side of this wig, and then I'll put my headscarf on for about 15 minutes. Then it'll be time to cut off the extra lace and add baby hairs. Okay, so now it's time to remove the headscarf and reveal the final look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So let's chat down below in the comment section. How do you feel about the final look? I did play around with a couple different hairstyles and I did end up doing a middle part towards the end of the video. So keep watching to see what I came up with. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell as well to be notified of all of my future uploads. Don't forget to leave a comment down below before you leave so that I know you stopped by and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Beige Ozai, yeah, that's right. It's Beige Ozai, ay, ay, ay.